not like I'm like, oh man, I'm over the hill and I just want comfortable Velcro sneakers from Walmart. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I got a 2019 Iron 83 and pretty much you know oh burgers smells so good barbecue get in my belly so I got an Iron 883 and I watched YouTube to learn how to do all my installs I also did um, fix my hog <laughs> it was pretty good like their videos they're a little you know more they're instructional videos but they're really helpful and they got a lot of stuff so that's how I learned how to change the pipes the air cleaner and then all the other stuff I learned on YouTube I started watching blockhead and a bunch of other people I did all my installs myself and I thought man this would be really cool to to do I would love to do this anytime I get into something I always want to like jump in and do it myself so I mean it's not something new for me that I wanted to like overdo my new hobby it's like all or nothing with me <laughs> but by the time the year was over or well, the season was over I should say uh, I already did everything to my bike and I never got really around to doing the whole GoPro setup and recording and I just life got busy and I didn't do it so I was like eh I mean even though I could take it for rides but I really wanted to do installs too just to prove to people that you can do it you can do it when I bought my Harley they had something called the Freedom Promise and it was if you bought a Sportster in 2019 whatever the dates were I don't know you pretty much could ride it for a year and you can upgrade and trade it in before sometime in August 2020 and they'd give you the full price that you paid for it so that was awesome and after doing a little research I ended up with the lowrider s and I was starting from scratch again so I said, wow, you know what? Here's my chance. I did the stage one upgrade right away. I did pipes and um, the air cleaner and the tune. But then I decided let's do it. Disclaimer, here, here it is. Here's my disclaimer. I'm not a mechanic by any means. I could not tell you how all the parts work together. I know how to ride. And I can spin a wrench. I can put things together, I can take them apart, put them back together. I couldn't explain to you how they all work together. <laughs> I was a power line woman. So basically power line construction on a big scale, wrenches were giant, <laughs> you know, all the tools were bigger. I did it off hooks with a tool belt. Now I own the business so I don't actually go out in the field as much. 
If I could do it, you could do it. Ooh, he just hit that squirrel. Should probably stay a little further back. He's going awful slow. We're doing like 35, 40, and it's 55. So he either doesn't know what he's doing or he's taking a Sunday drive on a Friday night. <laughs> this road is really fun, but it's okay. I'll just go slow. It's fine. So pretty much I said I can find what I need on YouTube, but I don't see many women really doing it, which is fine. I watch a lot of female moto vloggers. They're so awesome and they gave me the courage to do this too, but a lot of them don't do insult videos either and I don't I don't care who I watch. I just want to learn how to do it, but I figured there's and that's missing. And I want to fill that void. Oh, where's all the cows? They're each Oh, there they are. <gasps> Sorry, that was a very high voice apologize the other thing was like the majority of the women that I found a lot of them are sport bike riders there's not as many cruisers so I wanted to be who I wanted to watch and hopefully help some people my insole videos I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be me figuring it out as I go so you'll probably see me reading directions you'll see a lot of blonde moments that's why it's moto blonde <laughs> Um, but I always figure it out in the end and you can probably learn from what I do the hard way and then I figure out, oh, it would have been easier if I did this <laughs> or what I do wrong or what I do right. Real life. So I just figured it would be a fun thing to do. So that's it. It's just a beautiful day out. There's not going to be many more of these days out. Like I've said before, I'm in upstate New York. It gets cold. Now that we kind of smartened up a little bit and we're getting a little more serious about our gear, I'm gonna try to find some more cold weather gear. You know, I got a fairing. I might get hand guards. I don't know, I'm kind of in the air about them. I don't really love the way they look, but they'll probably grow on me because I've been seeing a lot of people get them function over looks I guess <laughs> I don't know is that what happens when you get older I mean I'm 35 so it's not like I'm like oh man I'm over the hill and I just want comfortable you know velcro sneakers from Walmart <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that I'm not there yet but yes being comfortable is a big deal we are in New York the roads here <laughs> they're crap uh, there's potholes it's not you know, it's not the streets of like Daytona Bike Week. Side note, if you have a Jeep and you know the Jeep wave, when you're not in your Jeep, do you feel yourself at like reaching out to Jeep wave? <laughs> I do sometimes and then I forget I'm not in the Jeep. But yeah, I mean, there comes a point when you, you realize you're not comfortable and you really enjoy riding and you want to be comfortable because what's the point if you're miserable but I did do a review on the Saddleman seat you should check it out because I'm really short and that was my main question there's not a lot of short people that do reviews on stuff with bikes you know that was my main question like everybody raved about the Saddleman seat yeah that's all great but when a guy that's like six foot two is saying that he loves it I can't relate because for somebody that's taller if it raises you up or sits you back a little bit it's not gonna matter it might even be better for them but for me it's not so I have to think about things differently and it's it's always been like that like I said I worked as a line woman and I not only was the first female to do it in the company I was also the shortest <laughs> so they didn't have any safety equipment for me they had to special order everything I had to get like this platform to put in the bucket truck so I could reach everything <laughs> because they're you know they would come up to like my armpits <laughs> I'm not joking so I carried around it looked like a flotation device it was embarrassing at first but I didn't give a crap because it was you know oh oh hello I don't know what it is about this town but 
last time I came here, somebody pulled out in front of me. And it was not cool. So, anyway guys, I hope that you enjoy my channel. I hope that I can help somebody or at least entertain you or at least inspire you to ride or work on your bike. I promised Anthony's son that I would be back for the Fortnite concert. He loves Fortnite. If you or your kids are in there, because I know I know you're I know you like Fortnite. I know some of you like Fortnite. Let me know in the comments if you or your kids play Fortnite. He is obsessed with it. It creeped me out a little bit. I I gotta be honest. Cause like all the different outfits and people and stuff, like your character, your avatar, it's called skins in Fortnite. And like that just doesn't like, hey, I got this new skin, and I'm like, oh that's that's a little weird. <laughs> so I'll end this here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding with me. This is where my GoPro decided to die on me. So again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And hit that subscribe button. So, ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one.